getting down uh, indie from a sketch to uh, taking it out to the market uh, when you look at it uh, it makes the engineer in me emotional the lad is fading fast from this old town we gotta go our bags are packed so what we waiting for hi i'm devanch i'm a structural engineer i am a part of the vehicle engineering team at river uh, what my team does in river is they take the uh, form and the function and they blend it with the engineering and make things make the scooter a reality in my team at least like every every individual who is there is smarter than me in one or many aspects like brainstorming sessions are like really good because of that structures are like the backbone of our vehicle right the entire vehicle rides on the frame and the mechanical peripherals around that we break down all the aesthetic and functional aspects of it to the last level then we deal with how do we make that particular part uh, what kind of manufacturing will we do what are the things that are critical in that we basically streamline all the manufacturing and assembly aspects along with the current design of the product such that we are able to produce things more reliably uh, faster and smoother so that you can also scale as well as have a better uh, product out there along with the testing team we also test them for certain cases we do on road evaluations and along with that we also do a lot of abuse cases on what if like we do overthink upon it a lot so that by the time it reaches to the customer like we would have done everything that a customer might ever do in his life with the product i have done my mechanical engineering uh, from srm during my uh, first year itself i i went into this team called the conroads of road racing we used to uh, build uh, baha buggy from scratch every year uh, design it build it test it and take it to competition and compete it with uh, around 400 teams from india so i was a part of the design team so i used to initially just do cad modeling then overall went into the design aspects of it and i led the design team in my final year and that was my initial spark i would say yeah i'm still to the same field enjoying it i go on treks uh, i have been leading treks nowadays i have been born and brought up in uh, the urban cities of india so maybe the lack of uh, access to nature is what made me fascinate a lot about nature but uh, yeah, i generally love nature a lot during college days i went on a couple of treks i was intrigued by the vast expanse of nature uh, nature uh, especially mountains they keep you grounded I'm also a avid uh, bird watcher and uh, I also try to photograph them. Uh every photograph uh has a story. A story that I associate to when uh whenever I had picked that photograph. So they might not be the best of them uh but they always do have a story. So So whenever you go into nature you will definitely have wild animals around i strongly believe that every wild animal notices uh, humans and they choose if they want to be seen or not we have spotted wild animals at a distance you just have to respect them and uh, they respect you back they will never interfere in your uh, activity uh, unless and until you interfere in them so that mutual respect uh, if that stays uh, things never go wrong the location of our office is right next to a lake every morning i go for a run when the sun hits the surface you see all of them going around to explore their own day like i have been observing this for years now
like just around sunset you see all the birds return to their homes back there and that is kind of my peaceful moment uh, with them during my tea you learn from uh, people who have been around you so yeah if you want to specifically pick one person uh, it would be my mother and father uh, appa he always uh, empowered me to do what i want to and always motivated me i remember around my 10th i wanted to make a small quadcopter like this was out of nowhere but he still always encouraged it uh, I remember blowing it up uh, in the first attempt itself and uh, I didn't get any um, you know uh, like a scolding or something from him and he just like left it he is like half fine uh, he was he was fine with that and uh, yeah he is a person I admire and get inspiration from I I remember uh, the day we launched our vehicle and uh, like looking at Indy uh, I was uh, was happy and uh, emotional and uh, I was one of the first to do the pre-orders. <laughs> you always do want to uh, get what you have worked on, so yeah, that is kind of emotional. The family day, I was not aware of any awards and all being given. I was happy that. Uh, this uh, river story is being appreciated i never expected myself to be there and uh, once my name came in i just went honestly back <laughs> like i was happy and uh, so those are the champions who got recognized there but uh, you have a champion in every one who is out here uh i i i can balance out my hobbies and professional work easily we keep things planned such that uh, my journey with nature and uh, river uh do not have any conflicts as a company we have done zero to one by uh, getting a product out to the market now and in the years to come we'll be doing 1 to 10 10 to 100 and we'll also be definitely having multiple products out there so uh, i don't know what role i'll be playing in the future but i definitely know that i'll be a part of the future so yeah Let's. the light is fading fast from this old town we got to go i bags up packs so away we wait in fall No point in delaying what we both already know. Escape this time with me.